guys do you notice anything different comment below i had a bald spot and this is very difficult to discuss here especially since majority of my videos that get good interactions deal with my natural hair hair care tips and hairstyles so i've been debating whether or not i want to share this with you guys but i want to be as real as possible last year june 2016 i noticed that i had a bald spot I was devastated and to top it off it had to be right here in the middle yep I didn't really know what was the cause of it at the time actually I didn't even notice till after one wash day and my boyfriend at the time saw it so it was really surprising to me I don't really know what was going on I do remember at the time I had a lot of shedding in my hair at that time I was like really depressed I was really sad about it I was stressed out I really tried to conceal it you know hide it strategically with my parting that you guys wouldn't notice it as much I don't know if you did notice if you did let me know I will insert some clips of me with my hair as it was bald I wasn't exactly trying to show it but obviously I did want to continue on with my hair videos and so it was showing I don't know if any of you noticed it but You'll see in these clips. I noticed that I had a bald spot. I didn't want to do anything to my hair. I was trying to figure out what in the world did I do to get a bald spot right in the middle of my head. And to be honest, I don't know. The only thing that I really did change in my routine was that I used neem oil. I saw a YouTuber use it because she was having a lot of like scalp issues. And like I've mentioned, I have some scalp issues, dandruff and stuff like that. So I learned that neem oil was great for that and I went out and bought it so I don't know if I used an excess amount of it I don't really know exactly the cause of it but that was the only new thing that I used so that was the only thing I could think of so with that I want to say that when you're trying out new things pay attention to the ingredients and make sure that you're not allergic to them now after noticing that I had the ball spot I did check around other areas and I don't have any other ball spots and I made the decision not to see a doctor about it because it was a one-time thing so far. So I just tried to, you know, pay attention to what I'm using in my hair, ingredients I'm using, and really, you know, pay attention to what my hair feels like. If it's feeling really fragile, then I know that that product is probably in excess. I'm using it too much or maybe my hair doesn't like it. Now, obviously, it's been quite a while since my bald spot. So I have a decent amount of length, obviously not as much as you see here. So yeah, that was my real, you know, secret. I was trying to hide it a couple of times when I was doing my hairstyles. I would not do a middle part. I would only do side parts and I'm finally comfortable in sharing it because I know there's lots of other people that may be dealing with this. It might be a deficiency problem or disease or just, you know, a lot of manipulation in your hair. Some things that helped me with retaining my length and letting my hair grow back was that I started using protective styling. I, I also been giving my hair a lot of rest by doing protective styles such as wearing my, my wigs, wearing my hair in two strand twists and just leave it like that and wear it just like that. I started to wear my hair in corn rolls under my wigs and I would oil it down every single night and massage this area. Just leaving my hair alone mostly. And that's why I haven't been doing a lot of hairstyle videos because I wasn't trying to stress my hair out. And I also did a lot of scalp massages, especially when I did my wash days. I also do it with a lot of oils I love to use in my hair. My DIY hair growth oil mixture, so let me know if you want to know what that consists of and I'll do a video on yeah. that. Basically, I figure that I should pay more attention to what I'm eating, trying to change my diet, eating a lot of protein and iron I'm using on my scalp. And making sure I keep a clean scalp, detangled hair, and never pulling on my hair. And, you know, it's going to be a journey for me to grow back my hair to the original length. And that is why I'm going to continue taking my hair gummies to expedite the growth process. Because, come on, I want my hair to grow back to the original length. Who wouldn't? So if you haven't seen my reviews on those, please look at the, you know, review by watching those videos. At the time in June, I didn't really feel you know confident enough to approach you guys and let you guys know that I had a ball spot exhausted I was really stressed out and honestly I know that a lot of you love my natural hair 
videos and I didn't want to disappoint you guys so I felt that if I brought it out then then you guys would not want to watch me now that I've retained a good amount of length I am more comfortable in doing more hairstyles for you guys so let me know which styles you want to see I also try to be less stressed because stress can cause a lot of problems and I'm also trying to exercise more now that is another video but also try to keep a clean scalp so if you're like me and you've been suffering with any ball spots or anything in general that you feel uncomfortable with you know don't feel rushed to speak about it but in your own time speak about it because it may just help somebody and you may just be able to get some advice from other people so for today i would love for you guys to give me some tips or even share your experiences down below if you feel comfortable and you know let me know what you've used to help grow your hair because i got some growing to do Thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.